So today I am coming to you to tell you that it's time that you start your YouTube channel today. Okay. If you are 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80 years old or in between, it's time for you to start your YouTube channel. And today I'm going to give you 10 reasons why. So this is not my normal video, okay? But I felt the need to share these things with you guys. Okay, so most people are telling you to start your YouTube channel and they are telling you that you could do this and you could do that and you can make all this money. You won't be able to make all this money if you never start. Okay, so my number 10 is going to be this. And yes, I'm, I have a list. I'm reading from my list, okay? Because I don't want to miss nothing. Number 10. Wait, and let me show you something. Number 10. <laughs> and it is because it's free. YouTube is a free, yes, I said free, F-R-E-E -E, platform that you can start today. You don't have to wait. You don't have to ask nobody. You can just start it today. So I'm just going to read from my notes just so I don't miss anything. Okay. So that's it. And that's all is that it's free. Okay. I'm just going to elaborate just a little bit because you can shoot your videos inside of your home, the comfort of your home. You can shoot your videos in your pajamas if you're doing like a faceless YouTube channel. You can only show your hands. You can be reading a book to somebody. You could be doing whatever you want to do on your channel. So number 10 is because it's free. Number, let's go down. Let's go to the next one. And no, um, we're not editing anything because I'm going to show you that you can make a video and not edit. So if you're worried about editing, this is the video for you. Number nine, it says, because what else are you doing in your spare time? If you are retired, what are you doing? If you still work, what are you doing in your spare time when you get off of work? Are you visiting friends every single day, every other day, every weekend? Are you sitting on the phone talking to someone every day, every weekend, every, every, I ran out of words to say. Okay, so, but you get my drift, right? What are you doing? What are you doing with your time? You could be making YouTube videos. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay, so that's my number nine. And... You don't want to be sleeping, um, you know, while you're retired. You want to be doing something, something productive. And why not just start a YouTube channel? Okay, moving right along. We are on number eight. Because you have lived at least 40 years and beyond. So therefore, you have a story to tell. You have things that you know about that probably no one else knows. You have experience that no one else has experienced. You have lived long enough to tell people why they should and shouldn't and could and wouldn't and what you would do differently. So why not share that on YouTube? Why not start your journey on YouTube and tell people what you've been through, what you're going through, what you, how you overcame those experience and those trials and those tribulations. And if everything in your life was so positive, tell us that as well. Okay. Um, let me just make sure that I am not missing anything. So number eight and number seven kind of ties in together. So let's continue. We're going on to number seven. Number seven says, because at your age, Okay, I'm sorry. At your age, you should know right from wrong. So therefore, you can tell others 
what's right and what's wrong in your opinion please state that this is my opinion and my opinion only before you start that conversation because guess what you're gonna have some people who will and some people who won't agree with you about what you say but don't worry about it just say it anyway because guess what it's your experience is your journey is your life is your words okay and you can also state if you have done some things in your life that you're not proud of or you can show or and tell the things that you are most proud of in your life the things that you have accomplished the things you wish you would have accomplished the things that you would do differently now because you know when you know better, you do better, and you start a YouTube channel and tell others about it, okay? <laughs> and that's part of being on your own channel. You can be whoever you want to be. And that leads us into number six. Because who besides you, can share or tell your story. You could have shared this information with anybody during your life journey. However, they will never, and I do mean never, never, ever, 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 tell your story the way that you can tell your story. Because you want to be authentic when you tell people about you and your life experiences and things of that nature you want to be authentic because guess what people can see straight through the camera believe it or not they can they can tell if you real if you fake if you faking it they may believe you in the beginning but guess what people that really resonate with you don't forget the things that you say and the things that you have done and that one time you say um i did this 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 and that and they come in the comments and be like but three videos ago you told us that you did this this that. like what is it which one is it they will see straight through you so be your authentic self which leads me to number five it says because you just want to talk to somebody you just want to be able to tell your story without being interrupted how many of you can agree with that put it down in the comment section below sometimes you just want to talk to somebody and you don't want them to say anything you just want them to hear what you have to say that's it you just want to let it out and sometimes talking to yourself is not um i'm not saying that you can't <laughs> i'm just saying that that's just not what you're looking for in that moment you're actually just need that 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 human body that uh warmth in front of you so only you can tell your story like i said only you can put it into words how it really happened or your version let me wink wink okay you can tell people about the job that you loved or love. You can tell people about all your hobbies. You can tell people if you craft. You can tell people if you are a financial advisor and how to buy a house, rent a house, lease a house, turn over a house. You can tell people whatever it is that you like on your channel. That's why I'm saying it's time for you to start your YouTube channel today, okay? And is YouTube scary? Is videoing yourself scary? Yes, in the beginning it is. And even me right now take making this video, it's scary. It took me four times to press go. So just think about it. It took me four times to press go and I've been doing YouTube for almost three years. I started the channel in 2016, but I really didn't post anything. I didn't get serious about YouTube until 2020. And we all know what happened in 2020. Okay. So three to four years 
let me say three and a half years because I don't want y'all to be like, girl, it's been more than three years. Okay, do the math. I don't know. <laughs> okay, go check it out. Go check it out for yourself. And um, it's still scary. Every single time I either go live, every single time I make a video, every single time I want to upload something, because guess why? I don't like my voice. I don't like my hair sometimes. Sometimes I don't like what I'm wearing. Sometimes I don't like the topic that I'm about to talk about or show you what I'm doing. Sometimes I just don't want to. But guess what? I do it anyway. And so can you. So don't worry about other people. Don't worry about what they say. Don't worry about how they feel because you started a YouTube channel. Psh, talk to the hand. Okay. Um, do it for you. Do it to relieve your, you know, um, fears, because I know it is a fear. You don't have to show your face when you're making a video. You can just show um, yourself working on something. You can just show yourself um, behind an avatar. You can just, just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just saying, just do it. Just do it. If this is something that you really want to do, just do it. And don't think about your family. Don't think about your friends. Don't think about your church members, unless you're talking about them. Okay. <laughs> but other than that, this is a platform that you can leave your legacy, whether your legacy be your favorite recipe. Notice I said favorite recipe for something that you cook all the time versus your family recipe because baby the game is to be told and sold am i saying that right i don't know yeah the game is not to be told it's to be sold so <laughs> therefore you should tell people about your favorite recipe and maybe you can yeah just do that okay and then for your family recipe sell the recipe that's another thing. You can get on here and just talk about anything you like. Now, it's up to you if you want to keep your channel PG, rated G, X, XR, or whatever, all those different things. <laughs> but do what you love and do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel good. Okay. Um, so let me make sure. Oh, so I do want to say within my number six, I also put down... Tell your story. Um, and also, oh, I want to tell you my story. Okay, so listen. Number six says, because you want to talk to someone without interruptions. Okay, so I'm just going to share a story with you real quick. I was in public speaking class in college. And it the class itself, just um, registering for the class really, really turned me off. I was so nervous, so scared. I was like, I don't want to do this. But for my major, I had to take this public speaking class. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to just do it online. That way I don't have to go in front of the classroom. I don't have to talk to nobody. I can just do my public speaking, turn in my assignments, and I'm done with that. <laughs> uh, somebody come to the forefront because that's not how it goes. Okay. When you are online for public speaking class only, that's that's what I'm talking about. You had to upload videos and send them to the professor. You also had to upload videos to YouTube, nonetheless, for the rest of the class to see, view, and give you constructive criticism or just look at you crazy on the screen. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that that was one of the criteria for the class. We also had to make videos interviewing other people for an online class, nonetheless. Okay. And so let's just say your girl failed that class. <laughs> I failed public speaking online. 
I sure did. So guess what? Next, the next semester, I had to take it again. And I said to myself, I'm going in the classroom this time. How bad can it be? And lo and behold, you guys, public speaking was better in the classroom than it was online. So there's that. You don't have to be an expert at this thing. You just have to start. And I'm going to share something else with you. When you make your very first video, record it and release it. Let me say that again for the people in the back. Record it and release it. Do not go back and try to edit it. Do not go back and listen to the video. Do not go back and nothing. Release that video straight to YouTube on your channel and let it do what it's going to do. Why? Because people will remember you from your very first video to when you get to millions of subscribers. They'll be like, you started at the bottom. I remember when your first video, you couldn't see you. The lighting was off. The, the volume was down. Like they will remember all of those things if those are your people. So make your first video. Do not edit it. Do not rewatch it before you upload it. Just upload it in the way that it is. I'm telling you. And you want, because you will be able to see your progress. Okay. I'm moving on because... I could talk about this all day. Okay. So number, oh, I never put up the number. <laughs> See what I'm saying? When you are making videos, you're going to make mistakes. Just keep going. Just keep going. So we're at number four. So number four says, because there's only one you. See my hair? There's only one you. Only you. Know you besides God. If you believe in God or Jesus or the higher up or whatever, okay, whatever you believe in, whoever you believe in, yeah, they know. They know about you. And so do you. So why not share your story to others about you? Tell people who you are. Tell people what you like to do. Tell people where you came from. Tell people, you know, how you started. If you own a business, this is one thing that you really want to do is Tell people how you got started in your business. How did you get started in a hobby? Why do you love to cook? Why do you love to drive, ride motorcycles? Why do you love to race? Why do you love to mountain climb? Why do you? It doesn't matter. That, that, that. Why do you? Why do you? That, that, that. Okay. Fill in the blanks. And those are also, they could be titles of your video. Why I love to dot 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 why you should love to dot 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 okay and then tell your story be you be authentic and be vulnerable some people don't like that but you want to attract real people first of all you want to attract people who want to be in your company just you know, on the internet, not like physically in your room, but you want people to come to you and you want them to stay. So you want to be authentic. You just want to come off as this is me. Either you like it or you don't. Either you love it or you won't. And I'm okay with that. Be okay with you. I'm going to say that again because I feel like... <laughs> I feel like it means something. Be okay with you. Look in the mirror or in the glass or wherever. You can look in your phone because you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you can look at your phone and you can see yourself. Yeah. Be okay with you. And don't worry about what nobody else thinks. Don't worry about what nobody else says. Don't even pay attention to the negative comments that will be left on your video because there will be some. There will be some people who will thumbs down your video. It's okay. There will be a lot of people who will like your video that will leave you positive comments and they will also offer you suggestions. Where would you go to get free suggestions that you can use for your next video? 
okay so be you be authentically you because like i said in the beginning people can tell if you real or if you fake and if you faking it nine times out of ten they may watch for a couple of episodes or a couple of series or whatever the case may be and then when they see that you are no longer valid trust me they will get rid of you just like that okay so leading us to number three hold on let me get my paper we're going to number three so number three says because your people your community your tribe will find you and they will either connect with you disconnect with you love you not love you like you or not like you and it's okay because just like i said you want people to love you for who you are you want people to love you for showing up you want people to love you because they genuinely just want to see you do well you have some people who don't want to see you do well so each and every time listen to what i'm saying listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth every single time that they watch you they're going to leave a negative comment they're going to thumbs down your video they're going to talk about you to others but did you hear what i said every single time they watch your video that means they're watching you they are really admiring you from a distance <laughs> but this is what i say thank you for watching my videos whether you are in the present or in the bushes behind the scenes on somebody else's account thank you i appreciate you for watching my video and i hope to see you on the next video <laughs> and that's on period okay so let them watch but give them something to watch okay so that's why you have to start your youtube channel so you can give them something to watch also you want to start building a community so starting your first video you're probably not going to have anybody watching it's okay eventually youtube is going to push your video out just do the best that you can with what you have that's going to lead us into number two but do the best you can with what you have um don't get caught up in the making things perfect i don't care how much equipment you buy i don't care how much lighting you have i don't care if you have written all your information down i don't care if you got cue cards i don't care if you write it on your hand it's not gonna be perfect do not beat yourself up because it's not perfect in your eyes you are sending a message to somebody and guess what whoever the message is for they will receive it believe that so you're sending the message because you've already dealt with that you've already done that the message is not for you it's no longer for you it's for someone else to receive how awesome is that right okay so leading us oh let me get my cue card see what i'm saying <laughs> we forget oh wait i got two i got two we on number two let's get to number two so number two is because you don't have to go out and buy expensive equipment like i said when i first started youtube i was using my cell phone i still often use my cell phone to record videos to make videos to edit i use CapCut if anybody is interested because to me it's user friendly and it's free you can pay for a service or not and you can get through this and it's on your desktop you can put the app on your desktop so i like cap cut and it gives you a lot of options for free okay but going on to what i'm saying is you don't have to have expensive equipment you can start with your iphone or your android and eh. okay no never mind i'm sorry i'm an iphone lover undercover <laughs> okay you 
can also go on Amazon and find you just the cheapest tripod that will hold your phone. And you can vlog with this. You can set it up and put it on the floor. So this is like a one-stop shop, this tripod. I will leave a link in the description of this video. You can just go straight to Amazon and pick it up. Um, that's another thing. Uh, you can link things for people to use in your YouTube description box. All they got to do is click it and go to the thing that you're talking about. Like right now, I'm using my tablet. I have a stand for that. So you can just buy stands, use your tablets, use your iPads. You can use your cell phones. You can use old cell phones. As long as they can get Wi-Fi signal, you are good to go. Once you get really, really into YouTube, <laughs> once you okay get into youtube then you can start buying expensive equipment then you can start getting all this lighting and then you can just you know what i'm saying just blow everything out the water but in the beginning start with what you have and and you see my internet is lagging i'm not gonna stop however this video comes out <laughs> that's what you're gonna get baby okay so like i said in number two um Start with what you have. And then guess what? That could be your first video. You can tell people, I started YouTube and all I had was my cell phone. And all I did was this. And all I did was that. Because when I first started YouTube, I was on the floor sewing. Okay. Crafting on the floor because I had no space. So I started with what I had because I just wanted to do that. YouTube is also, oh wait, that's going to be my bonus. You can't get me that easy. Okay. So we are down to number one. So number one is because you can. Hold on. Because you can. Who's going to stop you, boo? <laughs> okay. So because you can, you can do this. You can do this if you get the people out of your head that's telling you that you can't why are you what you want to do that for why are you telling all your business what is that about <sighs> baby don't worry about them just do you boo do whatever you can do whatever you like you can do whatever you like because guess what <laughs> it's your channel it's your channel. Do whatever you like. And so I know people are going to be like, girl, she's screaming all in the camera. Okay. This is my channel. I'm doing whatever I like. And if you don't like the way that I'm talking and what I'm telling you, like Vanna White said, unbiased LLC. Okay. Unbiased LLC come to the stage. I was present. Here I am. Okay. And let's see what else we have for number one. It says, what are you waiting for? Start your YouTube channel. It also says, because you can actually make money from YouTube. If you have 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers, or you can get partially monetized by having 3,000 watch time hours and 500 subscribers. So if you need a little bit of extra change, because your finances are not where they need to be. Start your YouTube channel. Grow your YouTube channel. And start making money on YouTube. And in all actuality, come close. In all actuality, you don't need all those subscribers to make money on YouTube. All you need is to release your videos talking about a specific product. and tagging that company in your product review because most of the companies have a youtube channel did you know that most companies have a youtube channel tag them let them see what you're saying and if they like what you're saying they like how you are reviewing your their products they will reach out to you with no subscribers. Don't let people tell you you need a million subscribers or you need, 
you know, this many subscribers to, to, to get a brand deal with somebody because that would be a lie. I see I'm lagging again, but it's okay. I'm going to keep going. Um, and I, I, I put my settings on right. But anywho, all right. So it says, oh, and because YouTube is a business. YouTube is the only place besides other social, social blah, 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 besides other social media platforms who hire 24 hours a day. YouTube is a business. They are your employer when you start a YouTube channel. When you get monetized and you get paid from YouTube, that's your employer. Yes, you're going to have to follow some rules. Yes, you're going to have to kind of like, you know, make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, who cares? But at the same time, just remember, YouTube is a business and it hires 24-7 without, wait, 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 without age restrictions. Now, if you have a kid channel, there are some restrictions, but just read the guidelines. Make sure you know exactly what you need to be doing, how you need to be doing it, when you can do it, like all of that. Just read everything. Go slow, right? But you can be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years old and start a YouTube channel. And guess what? The application does not take you very long. And if you don't know how to work the computer to fill out the application for start your YouTube channel, to fill out your monetization, get somebody who does. Get somebody who is computer savvy or, you know, phone savvy because you can actually apply over the phone. Okay. <laughs> you can actually apply on your phone. Okay. So find somebody who can help you. And let's see. So why not pause this video and start your YouTube channel? I'll wait. Oh, you're back. Guess what? This is it. I've been down 10 to 1. So I started at 10 and I came down to 1. But guess what? I have a bonus. And the bonus is congratulations. <laughs> you just got all the things, maybe not all, but most of the things you need to start your YouTube channel. And I want to be the first one to clap for you. Congratulations. Okay, girl, breathe. Okay, snap out of it. <laughs> so, yes, if you are in the age range from 40 to 100, start your YouTube channel. Let everybody know that you're starting your YouTube channel. And just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Do what you like. Do what makes you feel good. Do what makes you happy. And also, um, if you... Oh, that was another part of my bonus. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all over the place. But it's okay. Um, a part of my bonus is YouTube can also be an outlet for depressed people. People who are, you know, fighting demons or fighting themselves, people who are just genuinely happy. Like you don't have to be depressed to start a YouTube channel. You don't have to be overly happy to start a YouTube channel. You can be somewhere in between. But what I'm saying is it's an outlet for people who are going through things and they can't talk to somebody else. So think about these things from 10 to one to the bonus and 10, all the stuff that I have told you in between, because guess what? It all matters. If you listen and you pay attention, it all matters. Okay. So I appreciate you for watching this video. And don't forget, this video was for you. Happy YouTubing.